New York Yankees fans, how's it going? It is Felix from RebelWineNews.com. Like always, all like almost us. Yankees fans, it is now confirmed that Brian Cashman himself, from his own mouth, has confirmed that he's in communication with the New York Mets. With Omar Minaya, most recently. What does this mean? This means that there's a high possibility that the Yankees and the Mets make a trade. But shut, shut up, Felix. The Mets and the Yankees are not going to make a trade with each other. Really? If your name is not the Boston Red Sox, what team in their right mind would not listen to the Yankees when the Yankees have the best or one of the best minor league systems, and even on the major league level in all of major league baseball? What team is not going to listen to the New York Yankees? And the Mets, their fan base is always crying about. They're not developing position players. Look at the Yankees. Look at all these position players. They're spoiled. They want what the Yankees have. Trust me, they want what the Yankees have. And the Yankees have what the Mets need. The Mets have, on the other hand, what the Yankees want. Another ace to pair up with Luis Arena. Would it be DeGrom? Would it be Signagard? All signs point to DeGrom. But I would hate if one of those two would go on a team that's going to haunt the Yankees for years to come. That is going to haunt the Yankees as of now, trying to compete for the World Series title. That's exactly what happened last year with Justin Verlander. I know I bring it up constantly, 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 constantly. The same Yankees fans that bashed me about, oh, Sonny Gray is a beast. He's way better than Justin Verlander. Shut the hell up, Felix, are the same fans that are telling me, Felix, you're crazy about even suggesting trading Gary Sanchez. Shut up. Shut up. If you have a chance to get Noah Signagard or Jacob DeGrom, and the Mets ask for Gary Sanchez, and you don't have to, let's say, give up a Nandor. You don't have to give up a Torres. Shut the hell up. I will do that trade in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat, pitching wins World Series championships, period. And the Grom becomes a free agent in 2021. Syndergaard becomes a free agent in 2022. Anyway, you slice it, the Mets, when it comes to DeGrom, had made a good investment with DeGrom. He was a high draft pick. He came out of nowhere. Anything they get for DeGrom is a win for the Mets, okay? And some people might say you could say the same thing for Noel Signagard. They got him from that Dickey trade. Dickey was what? Close to his 40s, and he got a young stud that turned into an ace, but he's injury prone. So I can see why the Mets would even consider trading Noel Signagard. The only full season he had was what? Three years ago? And he's always been injured, so I could see why the Mets would consider trading him. And I could also see why they would consider trading DeGrom. DeGrom, like I said, was a high draft pick. He really came out of nowhere, and like I said, any trade for DeGrom, their return would automatically be a great investment. Obviously, the Yankees have young studs that they could trade to the Mets, young starting pitchers that are major league ready. So all the naysayers are saying, The Mets and the Yankees can't make a trade. Shut the hell up. They are very compatible. We're talking about over 100%. Also, let's talk about another trade target. The Yankees have sent scouts to see Michael Fulmer pitch. Fulmer has been on the radars of the Yankees for a very long time. And on this channel, you have heard me numerous times suggest a trade for Michael Fulmer. But if you ask me if I prefer DeGrom over Fulmer, DeGrom any day. DeGrom has a track record, obviously carrying the Mets into the playoffs, obviously pitching in the World Series, obviously being a Cy Young Award candidate. So if you ask me, like I said, DeGrom will reform her any day. But like I said, the Yankees have so many pieces that they can't possibly trade for two aces. Who knows? Fulmer's price has dropped down. And like I said, and if Gary is a trade chip, that possibility can happen. I know a lot of crybabies leave me comments saying why I keep bringing his name up because it's better you use him as a trade chip rather than to giving up one of your young studs like an Andahor or Torres. Do you really want to win a World Series? World Series are won by great pitching. 
Okay? By great pitching. If the Yankees can obtain even an ace that's close to Severino, you do it. And DeGrom, arguably, people would argue that he's better than even Severino. So, long story to put short, Brian Cashman is going to be occupying this deadline. The most active we're ever going to see him in recent years. So, Yankees fans, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Get ready for that series versus the Boston Red Sox. Talking about the Red Sox, I think uh, J.D. Martinez's uh, power surge is kind of suspect because he's breaking uh, home run totals at Fenway or whatever. He's like the fastest guy ever to hit home runs at Fenway. And we all know these Boston Red Sox players were obviously on the jukes. Come on. So he's breaking all these records and his total 25 or whatever and his total home runs at Fenway or a new record. Like they haven't seen that in 107 years. So come on. That's suspect to me. But hey, that's just my opinion. So anyways, Yankees fans, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.